Dit programma wordt mede mogelijk gemaakt door het International Film Festival Rotterdam. Welkom bij Big Talk. Tien dagen lang worden tijdens het filmfestival de meest bijzondere films vertoond in de bioscopen van Rotterdam. En in het oude Luxor spreekt Hans Maarten van der Brink iedere avond met een belangrijke gast van het festival. Vanavond is de Oekraïnse regisseur Miroslav Slabospitsky te gast om te vertellen over zijn unieke film The Tribe. Een heftige film over een dove instituut in Kiev, geheel in gebarentaal opgenomen. Welcome to Rotterdam, Thank Mr. Slavospitsky. Um, it's not your first time. Actually, uh, four years ago, you presented a, a short film, uh, which is a sort of a prelude, prelude, prelude or, or maybe a sort of practicing for what we're about to see, the large feature film we're about to see tonight. It was called Deafness. Um, what is your fascination with the subject? Where, where did you get the inspiration uh, um, uh, for making a film about deaf and mute people? To be clear, uh, I wanted to make an um, homage to silent movie. And I need a way, uh, I, don't want, I don't want to make a stylization for silent movie. I, I mean, I don't want like to be on the same way like, like absolutely great films that I like, like artist uh, or Taboo by Gomesh or something like that. I need a modern silent film, and for this, for this uh, reason, I'm using the sign language uh, of deaf people, of course. That's one and only way, in my opinion, uh, on this way. And uh, concerning the short film Deafness, you can find it on YouTube, of course. Uh, it was screened in Rotterdam Spectrum, as well then uh, Hubert Bell's Fund of International Film Festival Rotterdam was supported the project of, of uh, the tribe. Uh, I was make a very no-budget film. Uh, it's very important short film for me because I can test it this way as storytelling, and, and I can be sure that this way can can work. You know. So it was practicing. It's very important. Yeah, 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 it's very yeah, important yeah. for me as well. On the other hand, I can show to other people how it work. It's it's very important too. It's like it pilot on TV, you know. So thanks to this festival. Well, yeah. that's so, good. Oh, yes, thank now, you very I, much. Now, before people think that you are going to translate into Ukrainian, you're here just to help you, help Mr. Slavospinski uh, out. So if you're completely out of the conversation, that means it's going well. Yeah, it's nothing against you. Um, okay. <laughs> so, so am I right in saying that it was more the concept uh, of wanting to make a silent movie than a fascination with people who have this handicap? Yeah. Yeah? But you, you've been, I heard you've been working on it for 20 years. Yeah. That's a long time for a concept. <laughs> uh, to be clear, I have an idea 20 years ago, but I have no possibilities to shoot this film. Uh, I mean, to shoot the full late feature film. I have the concept and this is it. And finally, after the film was supported, and uh, after the deafness, uh, I can... Uh, when, when I shoot the deafness, I have a very nice connection with Deaf Society of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. I mean, a lot of people from any, any formal organization, as well as any un informal leaders of this community. So you developed a relationship with the yeah, community? Of yeah, in, of course, in, of course, of course. In and Ukraine. They, they really support, uh, support me, and every, every actor in my film is, is, uh, who play in the, the, in the tribe is a really, really deaf person. 
So all the actors we are going to see are really deaf? Yeah. They no professionals in it? No, it's, it's no professional actors. They uh, sign language native speaker. Yeah, they're deaf people. Sign language native speakers. That must have been hard for you as a director because um, you don't speak their language. How are you going to direct actors who are not only uh, uh, um, are they actors and, and deaf, they, they're not professionals. Yeah. So uh, you have to teach them without speaking the language. It, it, it's very funny, but to be clear, it's, it, it's very easy. I, I, I don't think so. it's uh, too much difference between uh, uh, deaf uh, non-professional actors and uh, usual non-professional actors. Uh, only one difference, we have a translator, of course. On sign language, seems like mm -hmm. like you have now, but uh, of course we make something. Uh, we work in very special way. Uh, we have not too much shooting days, but we have uh, very very uh, long rehearsal rehearsals period. Uh, we mm, uh, we we have probably weeks and more rehearsal per one scene, and then we can shoot in it. Yeah. So uh, probably every scene we are going to see has taken days or even weeks of rehearsal? Yeah, something like that, but, but we have only, it's, it's a film uh, shoot in very long time, but it's film much more easy to edit in, because we edited half, half an hour, <laughs> because it's only 32 uh, connections, so 32 takes, 32 or 34. So were you, were, you <laughs> able, were you able to improvise with your actors, or was it very tightly scripted? No, no, we have, we have absolutely uh, a traditional, regular uh, script. It looks like script of uh, any usual TV drama. It's the same. With dialogue. With dialogue, of course. I, I, am, I, am, uh, uh, I, was, I am a writer. I, am, I was writing the script. Of course, they, we have a dialogue. Uh, sometimes, because the sign language speaking, it's a little bit difference to build the line than, than we are. Mm -hmm. Because uh, the sign language, in my opinion, is closer to Chinese. Uh, I mean, because uh, its alphabet is very small of sign language. Yeah. Uh, uh, a lot of signs, it's like, it's like a hieroglyph, you know. It's, it's so, 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 so difficult uh, language for, to understand it. And for this reason, uh, of course, uh, when I, I, I was, I was writing the script, I, I didn't uh, think about it. And when, when actors speaking it uh, on the uh, on the on the rehearsal, I and I, if I'm not satisfied how it how it sounds or how it how looks it how it looks <laughs> yeah, yeah how yeah. it looks on sign language, I ask, can you tell the same but in other sign? Uh, this is it. Yeah. In the beginning, I tried to sort of understand the signs, yeah. and at, at the, in one of the very first scene, there was a teacher, I think, who did like this and then that, and I thought, that means sit down and shut up. Uh, <laughs> but, but for the rest, I just gave up. What do we, as an audience, uh, what should our attitude be? Uh, look at it as if it's Chinese, or try to understand what's going on? What do you expect? <laughs> Uh, I, don't, I don't want to get a spoiler, but... <laughs> <laughs> no spoilers. Well, yeah, no spoilers. The story no. we're not going to tell. Uh, but uh, I am always tell for everybody, it's not a film about deaf people especially. It's not a film uh, for deaf audience especially. It's film for regular audience. It's film about all of us as well. It's film with... Uh, with participation of deaf, deaf actors, and this is it, what I mean. And uh, I hope, and I have a little experience how audience will explain the film, is everything okay? Uh, everybody must understand the story. That's, that's a main challenge when I make this film, that people must understand the story without verbal words. In other case, nobody will watch it. But the way you present it influences the story. There's not only no dialogue, yeah. there's also no music. Yeah. And we know from film that you can you can give the mood of a, you can change a scene by different mu uh, uh, by different music. Um, why, why did you leave out the music as well? Uh, to be clear, there's hardly any sound. Yeah. So just muffled. To be clear, I don't like music. I have no music on. Uh, I have no music. I was make a five shots and never using the music. 
I, I don't see, I, I don't know, I am not a very musical person, but uh, yeah. <laughs> You know, do I have to write it yourself, <laughs> of course? Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 but, but I want to tell you, uh, it's uh, what I try to explain uh, about the film. Uh, of course, you c it's no music in film, but uh, you can hear the verbal word because we have no verbal word in the yeah. in the in the film. But you can hear and and I don't know every 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 noise, every sound. Uh, look around. I mean. Uh, any any cars and uh, what's usually yeah, in, yeah, the, yeah, in the everything. background yeah, is yeah. in the foreground now. It's, yeah, it's for reason because 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 it's a point of view of person who can hear on deaf person. I mean, when you see when we, when we see our translator, yes, we hear everything what happened in audience, but we couldn't uh, hear her her voice. It's a, it's our point of view. I mean, okay, yeah, but I I found it sort of. Liberating also, um, uh, I noticed that in the beginning of the movie you have some people talking and I, my gaze was directed at a light flashing. I thought, hey, maybe the director wants me to follow the people, but because there's no sound, I, I, I look at the image and I interpret the image in my own way. Is that my fault or was it one of your purposes? Когда они вели диалог и лампочка загоралась, то я как бы стал смотреть на лампочку, а не на людей. И это для меня было как бы освобождение от того. Funny question. Well, yes, I try to ask for you on my English. Yeah, it's not so easy. It's a little bit, bit spoiler because I, I try to, to, to program in the audience how they might, must accept the film. Uh, but uh, to be clear, uh, it's very, very difficult to hear this film. I mean, if, if you watch the film, you can hear it. You can, I don't know, see on the girl who is sitting close at you on, on your iPhone or mm -hmm. something like that. Then you must watch it directly on, on the screen mm -hmm. and this is it because you can hear it. You, you must watch it every time. And uh, if, you, if you do it uh, enough in time, you will be more and more involved with inside film, I hope. This is why I <laughs> ask the, the audience to be especially attentive yeah, because yeah. they will not be drawn in by thunderous yeah. music, etc. Another notion I got was I had the idea that the rhythm was more important than maybe even than usual. Um, maybe a bit faster. Um, did you discover that yourself? That rhythm became more important because of the absence of sound and dialogue? Mm -hmm. И вы это как бы тоже заметили, вы это использовали именно потому, что не было звука, нету звуков. No, to, to be clear, yeah, you uh, probably I must check projection because it's 24, 24, 24 22 frame per sec. But to be clear, it's it's, it's not not not, not uh, they didn't communicate uh, quickly than they communicate in 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 real life. I mean, no? deaf 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 people is the same like we. I mean. Uh, we have we have a big casting. We saw the 300 uh, person for 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 for, for, for taking part in the film, and <coughs> finally select that person. Will you see everybody is deaf, and of course the deaf people seems like we uh, have the, uh, they are very different. I mean they have a very very emotionally person. They have a very I don't know boring person. It's same like us, mm. and of course we have an emotionally person. But it's uh, nobody pushing them. They, I mean, they they acting same like they communicating in in real life. In real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking about other aspects as well. Um, I had the, the the idea, but maybe that's completely wrong. That walking down a corridor without yeah. sound feels longer than with the sound. I mean, longer. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Well, you <laughs> should you should know after <laughs> after writing and then directing and then editing the film. What what was the reaction of the of the um, the community of, of deaf people in Ukraine itself? Uh, it was an interesting question because when we when we start to work the film, as I told you, they really support the film. Yeah. Then they heard a little about script, and so very nervous because it's a script about the. 
prostitution and gangs and mafia and everything. A lot in store for yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, of course. And uh, they're a little bit nervous. And finally, they saw the film, and they, uh, they, are, uh, really, they really like the film. And I was representing the film from this dismay in uh, last year, last year, May, in Cannes Film Festival, and then in the different, different cities and different countries, different festival, and different premieres in different countries. As well, I always know when the deaf people in the audience, because it's so easy when you come on the stage. Different audience. We, when you come to the stage, we applaud in this way, but yeah. deaf people applaud in this way. And when I stay Take here, I see yeah. it always. And uh, ev uh, in every country, it was the same. Uh, start from the from the Cannes Film Festival. Every country is the same. The people was sh was shake the hands and uh, uh, make a picture and uh, really love the film. Uh, uh, what I mean, uh, you know, mm, of course, I'm 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 director who can hear it, but the deaf community, I mean, international deaf community, explains that film, uh, the fact of film. Mm -hmm. uh, the fact of the film was made, the fact of the film being in Cannes... Okay, that's a sort of like, rec like, rec like, rec recognition. Like, yeah, like, like a big victory of a deaf community, because the deaf actor plays, and deaf actors was, has a huge international success. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and they're they so proud about it. But I, 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 that is a sort of recognition, of course, I understand that. But then the community you depict is um, not a very pleasant environment. Um, um, is, is that completely your fantasy, or is there really some connection between crime and deaf people, uh, mafia? Он говорит, я понимаю, что вы, что это очень все полезно для да, да, да. именно общества глухих, но вы выбрали такие это сюжеты, это... как бы мафию и, и все такое негативное. Uh, это придумано uh, или это действительно uh, uh, реальность? Well, uh, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it needs a long answer, but I try to to um, to be to be to be to be short. Uh, I mean, this situation in this in this line in this mm. with, with these people never happened in reality. No. But every situation is film was taken in uh, my experience or my experience like crime chronicle director or based it on the story uh, which people who consult me tell me. Uh, tell me when I walk in on the script. It's a compilation of number of real stories which happened with di different person, uh, not only deaf person. Uh, concerning the deaf mafia, uh, it yeah, exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we have we have a deaf mafia in in Ukraine, in former Soviet Union, in Ukraine, and Russia. It's a very interesting interesting story. I I think we have more time to to explain about it. Yeah, it's, it's, it it doesn't mean that. Every deaf person, of course, not. a member no, is a no, deaf mafia. No. Yeah, <laughs> of course. But there is, in these close-knit communities of deaf people, there are also yeah. gangs and we, we, communities that dedicate themselves to crime. We, we have a lot of discussion with, with, with people from any, any formal society of it. You know, the deaf, the deaf uh, handicaps, yeah, probably. Yeah. Is, you know, it looks like invisible handicaps because if for example, if you have no, no, yeah, yeah or something like that. Uh, but the deaf person looks uh, same like you, and bef before he start to to, to speak on you, you couldn't understand that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and for this reason, this community is very close. And, and to be clear, they don't really believe and don't really like the foreigners. And um, it looks like I don't know, it's Italian style mafia, or may maybe you remember the film by Kosturis, A Time of the Gypsy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something, close something society, like that. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Yeah, with mm -hmm. any, 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 diff any, any uh, shadow, shadow network on different countries with control the any business, with, with pay of any unofficial taxes. And, and it helps everything. to have yeah. your own language. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Finally, um, we can't help noticing that you're from Ukraine. That the film plays in Ukraine, and there's even a scene at the beginning of the film in the classroom where we see a map of Europe and a, a, a European Union uh, a, a flag symbol. Um, it's an understatement to say that Ukraine has been in the news very much in the past year. Is the film also, or are we allowed to see the film also as a sort of metaphor 
for a closed society that opens up with difficulty, where there's crime, corruption? Uh, mm, yeah. Anyway, uh, I think uh, every film about the school or, 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 or boarding school or prison is always a metaphor of, of society uh, in any case, but... Uh, of a dictatorship. Uh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, mm, I was finished the script in 2011 and I didn't ch change anything in the script, but I think... Uh, after the film was released, a uh, lot of people thinking it can be a metaphor of, of Ukrainian mm. revolution. It was so funny because the film was screened in Cannes the same day, uh, in the same day when the uh, documentary by Sergei Loznitsa Maidan screened. We are in the same day. A lot about of Maidan, people, about yeah, the yeah, protests. Yeah, 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 a lot of people thinking it's like at Gim uh, Kaskaj, it's, it's, it's an like an homage honoring. to rebellion, homage to revolution, something like and that. And what do you think? Are you offended by it or you think it's okay? Or? Uh, I, I like was it. Your I, say, I, I say, I say, yeah. yeah I, uh, to be clear, I'm shooting the story. I don't thinking about metaphor, of course. I'm mm. shooting the story. To be clear, but uh, finally, mm, I'm so happy because revolution. It, it's always nice. I mean, it's like a first life. It, 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 it doesn't mean that uh, after the revolution everything uh, will be okay. It seems like mm. a first love. You know, you have first life, lo uh, love, and finally uh, you will marry with your first love and make uh, children. It was boring and you divorce it. Or, you, uh, or she broke your heart and you'll be completely, I don't know, uh, unhappy person. Like yeah. But it doesn't mean that you do not need a first love. Same as revolution. <laughs> you are an admirable optimist. Um, and I understand your uh, next film is about Chernobyl. Yeah. Um, also a Ukrainian <laughs> subject. I wish you lots of luck. Uh, I wish you a, 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 a very interesting, haunting, gripping experience. Thank you very much thank for you. being here. And thank you, our thank two you uh, interpreters, for thank your work. You. Thank you, Dasha. De nachtfilm die u zo gaat zien is La Antenna van Esteban Sapir, de openingsfilm van het IFFR in 2007. Een bijzonder sprookje over de kracht van de menselijke stem. Een zeer originele, zwijgende film in zwart-wit. Dit programma werd mede mogelijk gemaakt door het International Film Festival Rotterdam.